Wagwan Bumble Squad, this here be Freaky Phil, and we come to you live today to be playing another part, which will be part 5 in a series of the Witcher 3 Wild Ones. You get me, blood! So here we are, after having a beautiful bathe by three lovely ladies, this twat and another douchebag came walking in, told me how it is, asked me a few questions and said, right, get dressed, you need to look the part. So okay, fuck knows where he ends gone, but we're going to get dressed. That ain't too bad. That's quite poncy. Nah, it's too bad either. I think I'll have the first one. The swirly jacket. Uh, take all. Let's get dressed! So, we must equip, equip, equip. Yeah. Keep that towel, what? Okay. So now I look like a pomps. Speak to this dude. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner, not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. <laughs> Fuck off, man, you serious? <laughs> uh, there we go. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Watch your tongue, pal. You'll get it cut off. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear yes, the Emperor might not queen. share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. In Grimmy and Art Kertz, Daifen Aden in Karn Eb Marvut, Emir Var Emreis. Fuck this shit, I'm buried. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian nomin, vat gun favot. So many months at Faltest Court. Yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. Know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, 
She's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the oh, Emperor? Fucking sure, oh. Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We had enough teachers of etiquette for one day. How do you know that? I'm Herivard the second, the Prince of Elanda. Not only am I yeah. to wait here like some Anne. supplicant. Rad sleeten, eh? Enekt. Herivard kann. Es kann nicht. Es ist nicht Epsa. Epfinsen, eh? Es ist ein Kaputt. 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 Es once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Shopping yet. Yes, then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Damn! Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't? Not a bit? <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunt's after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. 
I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Varatra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Damn! Yennefer and Triss Merigold. This guy got it going on. Just uh, loot the whole place. Loot and loot and loot. Until to this douchebag. Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, 
perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid, submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then, Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever, perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes, although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Well, sorry people. I know it's took a, a lot longer than usual with all these cutscenes and chats, but I think it may have had to be done.
How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Okay, so... Barbarians. Need to get out of here, do something about it. Well, we'll end up there, won't we? Hangman's tree. Douchebag. Let's Carol's go there. and Yennefer would be united. But something even more important happened in the Zima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Wearing that piece of cloth? The hell? That is not what I wanted to wear, Mr. Witcher. Oh, tail's a bit raised. What do you want? Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Hmm. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky, for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. Find and burn the bodies lying in pits on the battlefield. Okay. Let's go and do that then. Beast is over here! Oh, look! Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna survive this one. Huh? Wow! Oh, 
Come on, bitch. Come on, don't run away. Oh, hey, a little bit of a slide move there. Yes. Now for a shot of Igni. Shot of Igni, blah blah blah. There's one left now. Last one. Sunset is fast approaching. Oh, here we go. Shit, one's still alive. One, one's still alive. Yeah. What? Ah! Come on. Ow! No! I was doing so well! Shouldn't be too bad. Shit, one's still alive. Oh, yeah! Us! 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 Yeah! Shit! You get him in the middle of him and I should have! Oh, come on, man. We've got one left. Who are you? If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. Bullshit. Right. Got things backwards on account of the drama. Thanks for helping me. Fuck! Saw a ghoul take a corpse's leg, whole damn leg in one swipe! Gotta go somewhere else, even if it's ploughing povis. Yeah. See ya. I thought, no, I don't know whether he was being sarcastic or that was the truth. I don't. I just don't know, man. I just don't know anymore. Now for a shot of Igni. That's it. We return to the priest. Okay, so the priest is here somewhere. Take it easy. There he is. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending, refugees, pastoral care. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. Relieved to hear it. What would the people have done without you? Tended to the corpses in the mass graves, incinerated them all. Hmm. Have you any proof? Proof? What do you want, a fistful of ashes? If you don't believe me, take a stroll across the battlefield. See for yourself. You're a man of the cloth. Ghouls and graviers shouldn't bother you. My, my. Irritable, aren't we? No reason. You must practice the virtue of patience, my son. Take this and go in peace. Well, screw you, homie. Right, I need to go to the inn at the crossroads, but I'm going to leave it there for now, people, because I have got some shit to do in my own life. So, if you like what we saw you and want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, definitely subscribe if you're new. Share me around and goodbye!
in the past. 